Peeps, what's going on? Carl here back with another episode. This one's a bit different as they kind of always are in the new studio, kind of playing around with the different camera angles. But today we are checking out possibly one of the most interesting things that I've seen for my iPhone. It is in fact possibly the best case that you can buy. If you can see that guy up there, sadly dropped my 7 Plus and now you can see through the black and you can see that silver underneath. So super sad as I tend to rock my phones naked. I kind of prefer the look and feel, slimmer profile. Maybe those days are numbered now though. We've got a couple cases to check out which might be worth your while and have been protecting my phones lately. So maybe we'll go check them out. So these are the mouse cases, and as I mentioned for your iPhone 6, 7, they come in a ton of different colorways to suit, I guess, whatever flavor you're kind of feeling for your phone. So they actually have cases made out of metal, Kevlar, leather, wood for that inner hipster, and maybe the most intriguing to me has to be this marble case, because how cool would it say, or how cool would it be, if you had a phone case made out of marble? black or white. So they all have a very similar design, just really depends on what material you end up going for. They're running a Indiegogo campaign and what makes this so popular over there, they actually have this air cushioning material inside. You can see around there in green and these little air pockets that should technically prevent or prevent your phone from breaking when dropping. And what kind of video would this be? without some sort of drop test. So I think that's the first kind of business in order to see how well these stand up. I guess we're gonna be dropping some iPhones today. Let's go outside. So iPhone 7 in the wood mouse case. So I'll pretend we're just over here talking to my phone, blah, blah, blah. Oops. Oop. Woo, that was a good one. Maybe even a bit of salt bay in there. And if we come on over, our iPhone is in perfect condition. Let's swap it out to the marble case now. Same kind of thing. Please do not try this at home. I don't see any scratches whatsoever. Let's just cancel that. You can see the case there took a lot of the impact and the marble doesn't seem to be scratched up on the back either. Solid drop test. All of those drops had me slightly sweating but the iPhone 7 completely intact in pristine condition. What I actually love about these cases is the fact that they are super thin and low profile compared to other bigger and bulkier cases that technically do the same thing. I think it adds around two millimeters of bulk. So polycarbonate plastic around the outside to keep things nice and thin, a nice little lip which gives it extra protection when you lie it face forward, and even on the back since the iPhones do have that little camera bump. And of course that material that you end up choosing on the back, I personally really love this wood finish or the marble. These are my top two faves. Links for everything will be down below of course. And the last little feature, which I forgot to include, Every case, whether it be the wood, marble, leather, and even Kevlar are magnetic. So if you pair it with their flex mount, this would actually be perfect if I had this in my car, which unfortunately is in the shop. But we can do some makeshift testing over here in the studio. We've just got a window grabbing the iPhone. Just make sure you're off your phone when you're actually driving and don't blame me if you get a ticket because texting and driving is bad. Super bad. Super, super bad. So that was the mouse case as I can technically only keep one. I guess I've got a ton up for grabs. So just leave, I guess, a comment down below on where you've dropped your iPhone and where it's now resting in peace if it's cracked. And I will choose one, announce that somewhere over on social, probably Twitter, so follow me over there and I will catch the rest of you in next episode, next vlog, and let me know about this kind of filming style. A bit more natural, a bit more vloggy, not as structured as most YouTube videos, which I see online these days, and I kind of like this direction on the fly sort of thing. Let me know. Peace.